Gwinnett parents target teacher's Black Lives Matter poster. School officials in Gwinnett County told a teacher that her Black Lives Matter poster was a disruption to the learning environment. She keeps it up because, um, in part because her child is LGBTQ. She wanted to show black students that she is an ally to the fight for racial justice, according to the AJC. Um, All children matter to me, she said. As the mother of a gay child, I wish more teachers had embraced my child's differences in school. Our employees do have the same civic responsibilities and privileges of any other citizen citizen, including actively supporting causes, Gwinnett County Public Schools spokesperson Sloan Roach told Project Q Atlanta. However, that is not usually done in a workplace, as it can become an effectiveness issue if it creates a disruption to the learning environment. I thought this was super interesting. Um, yeah. What are your thoughts? The districts are not allowed to be like, I don't like your opinion. Take it. Well, sometimes they might, but they always will use the disruption in the classroom. That's like the magic words for saying, I don't like that. Yeah. Take yeah. it. Get rid of it. Because in real life, it probably did not disrupt the classroom until the no. parents made it a disruption. And then once you create the disruption, then you can lay the groundwork for having the thing removed or the teacher disciplined. Yeah. Um, They've tried to restrict teachers' behavior forever. Mm-hmm. There were like sorry issues like teachers' personal lives. Um, I mean, they used to have gay teachers in particular. Like in the set, like in the eighties, they would be like, yeah. "You are gay. You're disrupting your. It, that ruins your effectiveness in the classroom." Yep. Even though we're not legally allowed to fire gay teachers, we could fire you for being disruptive. No, I mean, as someone who went to Catholic schools for my whole life, that that came up. <laughs> More recently than the 70s, where, you know, a teacher, like if a teacher was out or was going to get married, right, to their, to, and it was a same-sex marriage, then the school would fire them and try to find some excuse to do it. If you had a child and that child went to uh, a classroom and that teacher supported things that you didn't support, right? Let's say, I know, Stephen, you're very left-leaning, right? So if if the teacher was a Trump supporter and was like pretty much stuffing your kid. It was a world history class. He was stuffing your kid's want, head full of right wing propaganda. What would you, what would your opinion? I that be? want, okay. I am going to take the opinion. I personally believe that teachers just state what they think. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's better just to have this out there and have the ruse that people are neutral actors. They aren't. Even when you're holding back your political opinions, you're still leaking your political opinions. Yeah, it's still like influencing your decisions. Like, just say it. Just put up the stupid sign. If you're very strongly leaning and you support, if we support Make America Great Again, let me know so I can make a decision about it. Yeah. Um. So I could either remove my child from your classroom, or my child knows that you're an extremely biased actor. And they can take that in mind. But I don't want people to have this ruse of pretend neutrality when they aren't being neutral. Mm -hmm. No one's ever being neutral. As long as they aren't advocating robbing banks or murdering people as a valid strategy, then (laughs) it's probably fine to me. Yeah, I mean, I guess my opinion would be, you know, you don't have to be perfectly neutral because nobody really is perfectly neutral. But at the same time, I would probably not be super stoked if a teacher was, like, pushing a specific candidate. And that would be on, on either side of the of the yeah. spectrum because then I feel like at that point it's almost one of those, you know, this is a person in a position of power who is kind of telling these people how to think, right? It's it's one thing to talk about, you know, principles that you believe in, right? Like mm-hmm. that's great, mm-hmm. you know, but it, it, it's there's just like a line where it gets to be a little bit – where it just makes me a little uncomfortable. But yeah. at the same time, like teachers are people. Teachers have opinions. They have a right to free speech. As a former teacher, um, I know that even in the best of times, teaching can be – very stressful and so right now with the pandemic we want to make sure that all the teachers who listen to us have access to the estate planning documents that they need to feel safe and so uh, we're going to work with you to find a price point that works for you Um, we are trying to help as many teachers as possible especially in the Atlanta area and so if you have any questions comments or concerns about wills trusts, or estate planning post a comment we would love to help you Um, we don't just offer wills and trusts, though we offer a lot of other stuff James you want to talk about yeah like Noah says it's more than just wills we also do things like advanced health care directives HIPAA waivers for your loved ones and and other things that you can do as far as power of attorney to make sure that if some something does happen, um, people are going to be able to help you out. So if you're not sure if it's something that we can help you with, give us a call or reach out. Uh, We really want to help and we'll do our best to do what we can. Sounds great, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you know any teachers that you think could benefit from this, uh, post their tag them in the comments. That'd be fantastic. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.